This is the 16th of the 6th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. A very long report tonight, so uh, fasten your seatbelts and grab yourself a cup of coffee, whatever. I'm going to start with the video I just put out on Fukushima. Um, the number four reactor, um, I know the pools were damaged and a big burst of steam. We had an explosion, big light, so I'm calling an explosion on that. Um, let Te TEPCO prove otherwise, but that's still where the MOX fuel is stored, and the MOX fuel has the plutonium in it. And if everybody remembers or have done their homework, one pound of plutonium can kill everything on the planet. There's like 11,000 tons of it in there. <sighs> so, uh, heads up, Fukushima just got very, very, very toxic. And they're talking about putting the first uh, cellophane around reactor number one. But they can't go to four because it's just too highly radioactive insanity. Um, the nuclear reactors in Nebraska. Um, Gunderson put out a story on that, and he's got that covered as far as the one reactor, the, the Fort Reactor, uh, Fort Calhoun, I believe. Um, it's surrounded by water, and uh, but that reactor is cold. It's gone shut down. Um, the other reactor, the Cooper reactor, um, it's just a single reactor. So this isn't like great big plants like in Fukushima. These are too single, but you got to remember they have 20 years of uh, spent fuel rods stored on site in pools. And the one north of Omaha um, lost its pumping capabilities for like 90 minutes the other day. And I did do a report on that. So uh, we got a lot of nuclear stuff going on and just... Icing on the cake, South Dakota just had its um, record-breaking release of water from uh, their dams heading downstream towards these nuclear reactors in Nebraska with these cooling pools. <sighs> so uh, we definitely got our hands full um, here in the next few days, something we'll definitely have to pay attention to. Um, RSOE, we're just going to come at you quick. Um, Argentina is reporting an agricultural state of emergency due to all the volcanic ash on the farm and the crops, and um, their crops are pretty much devastated. Uh, the government's declared a state of emergency due to um, crop loss. Um, forest fires, of course, in the states of Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado. Um, <clears throat> flash floods in Australia. Uh, Columbia landslides. And, of course, the volcano, the big volcano in um, Africa, in Eritrea. And um, that's still ongoing, canceling flights in the Middle East area. Um, they're saying there's no real let up in sight in the Chile volcano. Over to the extinction protocol, we got a 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake strikes Papua New Guinea. And... They've got some Iran strengths and ties with SCO speaks of united fronts against the West. So uh, the drums of war definitely beating. Scientists discount heightened activity out of the sun. Not a big surprise. Heavy rain and flooding force evacuations in eastern Australia. Uh, apparently uh, a couple thousand people had to leave their homes and isolated thousands of other residents. So they're still ongoing and it's that's this is their winter. And uh, they've got the <clears throat> the Arnie Gunderson um, video of Nebraska nuclear plant crisis worsens with Midwest flooding. And uh, they've got that Gunderson videos everybody's watched and uh, some pictures of the, the flooded nuclear power plants. And I believe Travel chaos in southern hemisphere. Chilean volcano eruption signs. No signs of abating. And uh, we've all watched the videos and this is ongoing. It's shooting at like 80,000 feet up and it's definitely wrapping around the southern hemisphere. And, and, and again, this is a climate changer. This is a six miles by three miles and it's phew, crack in the, core, in the crust of the earth and it's just venting, venting, venting. Um... 
got a video on that. Uh, new potentially dangerous fault line discovered in California. Hawaiian experiencing an exceptional amount of lightning strikes. Uh, lightning has knocked out the first large telescope ever built on Hawaii's Manua Key volcano and engineers are working to bring it back online. Uh, the University of Hawaii's 2.2 meter telescope has been out since the weekend of June 4th and 5th when tens of thousands of lightning flashes were, were recorded around the state. That's crazy. Big old lightning storm took out a telescope on the mountaintop in Hawaii. Uh, the story on the rift in Africa, rift fever, the day the continent of Africa splits in two. And if you're following that at all, there's about a third of Africa um, on the Madagascar side, like from Ethiopia where that volcano is erupting. There's a big rift, like a third of that continent is just pulling away from Africa. And uh, it's going a lot quicker than they imagined it would. Over to Scott.net, they've got the Papua New Guinea 6.6. .6. China issues alert as Yangtze River be braces for more rain. Now you got to remember, this, these people just had like a a 50 year drought like this this huge severe drought and they've gone straight over to torrential rain uh, China has issued a level 3 alert on the medium to lower reaches of the Yangtze River brace for more heavy rain um, said on its website on today <laughs> a new new Mander minimum, scientists predict rare hibernation of sunspots. U.S. scientists say familiar sunspot cycle seems to be entering a hibernation period unseen since the 17th century, a pattern that could have a slight cooling effect on global temperatures. For years, scientists have been predicting the sun would, by around 2012, move into solar maximum, a period of intense flares and sunspots actively, but lately a curious calm has suggested quite the opposite. A curious calm? Didn't we have the largest eruption ever recorded? Where the hell is that story coming out of? Uh, cast Canada wet weather affects prairie wheat seeding. Um, the Canadian Wheat Board says there could be an even worse than 2012, um, sucking an additional 1.5 billion to 2.5 billion out of the prairie economy. Um, crop failure in Canada. Rain triggered floods, landslides leave 105 dead, 63 missing in South China. Again, they're flooding. Missouri River states brace for floods. Of course, South Dakota just released a record amount. Um, and they have dam upon dam upon dam. And if one of these dams breaches, it's going to cause a cascading effect right down to at least two nuclear power plants in Nebraska. And, um on through Missouri and, and God knows to what else so um, they're trying to save these very old very under um, repaired dams from um, an unrecorded amount of water um, in the northern tier of the United States uh, we still have snow melting and on top of another weather front right on top of and more torrential rain exactly where we don't need it uh, U.S. fires and floods threaten parts of Colorado, and of course Colorado's flooding from record snow melt and burning down south from record drought. Um, <clears throat> India, strong winds forecast. Uh, Indian Meteorological Department has advised fishermen not to venture into sea during the next 24 hours, and it asked the ports of South Gurat to host local coastal signal three indicating rough weather and strong winds uh, another story u.s flooding heavy rain delays planting of hundreds of thousands of acres and we're talking weeks to months backlash on these plantings and i just did a report where the you know we're coming into this crazy solar weather and who knows if uh, what winter's going to do. We went straight from summer to winter last year. And that is about all I have for you tonight. Uh, I'll try to keep it under 10 minutes. Of course, if I missed anything, please comment and leave your videos below. Uh, I know I can't get to everything in 10 minutes. Thanks for everybody. Enjoy what you can.